Greetings, this is Charles Jarwin. I'm relaxing in eastern Oklahoma. You now there's more pot in eastern Oklahoma than there is even in California. That's really saying something. Actually, this hookah pipe right here, as you see, is part of a scientific experiment. This is what science is like, and I'm going to explain that to you now. My student and I want to find out whether smoke induces germination of seeds. Let me get you a little bit of uh, background. This is oak wood right here. It's not pot, I swear. This is oak wood. In an earlier video, I uh, showed you a forest that had burned in a great big fire, the forest of Posto. Then I showed you a video of flowers growing the next spring profusely after the fire. Those were mustard flowers. There was another species of Phacelia, a purple flower, that also grows almost exclusively after fires. Mm. Oh, this is um, smoke from the oak, actually. And so what I was able to see was a correlation between wildfire and those wild flowers, Phacelia strictiflora. However, and this is where the science comes in, correlation is not causation. We have not shown yet that the fire actually caused the germination of seeds. We've just correlated with one another. To do that, we have to do an experiment. So what my student and I are doing, working with Phacelia strictiflora, is we want to get smoke chemicals infiltrated into water and then use that water to germinate seeds. And if we can get the smoky water to cause the seeds to germinate more than plain water, then that would be a demonstration of causation. Now, this has been shown in another scientific research. There's another species of Phacelia, Phacelia grandiflora from California, that does require smoke for germination. And so, this is how we're able to distinguish correlation from causation. What better way to infiltrate the smoke than to use a hookah pump? This is an advanced piece of scientific equipment. See? Science can be fun. If we do demonstrate that these flowers require smoke for germination, then this would be perhaps the first example of a species with smoke requirement for germination that is outside of a plant community that requires fire. This is the post oak forest. It does not have a fire cycle as part of its continued persistence. So this could be a significant breakthrough. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho!